Good evening, everyone. I'm James Newell. And I'm Wendy Ryan. Thank you for joining us. But first, we want to begin with a major headline in Florida's fight against COVID-19. A Bay Area congressman, Vern Buchanan, says he tested positive even though he's fully vaccinated. And his office says he's now quarantining at home. ABC Action News reporter Haley Bull kicks off our coverage with a deep dive into what is known as breakthrough cases. A doctor at Tampa General Hospital tells us they're seeing more people hospitalized with COVID-19, but most of those patients, he says, are not vaccinated. While COVID-19 spreads out here, and here doctors and nurses are working to fight the virus still. Right now, our big problem, our big uh, concern is amongst these uh, a bunch of non-vaccinated patients who are getting very sick from COVID. Numbers from multiple hospital systems show the vast majority of their COVID positive patients are not vaccinated. Tampa General Hospital's Dr. Jason Wilson estimates that's around 90% of their patients. Most of the cases of patients who are vaccinated that still get COVID are with that Delta variant. The CDC tracks hospitalized or fatal breakthrough cases. The agency says it's received around 5,500 reports, some of those asymptomatic or not related to COVID-19. Across the country, more than 160 million people are fully vaccinated. By far the majority of patients who are vaccinated, even when they get Delta variant or other COVID variants, they have mild cold-like symptoms and are able to go home safely or stay at home and isolate. Congressman Vern Buchanan announced he tested positive for COVID-19 after his full vaccination earlier this year. His office says he tested after having mild flu-like symptoms. The Florida leader saying, quote, this should serve as a reminder that although the vaccines provide a very high degree of protection, we must remain vigilant in the fight against COVID-19. Vaccines, we don't have any 100% vaccines. So we know that these vaccines, especially the mRNA vaccines, are are really, really effective against the virus. We turn to Michael Tank, an associate professor of medicine at the University of South Florida, for more context about the vaccines. He breaks down the risk like this. One is like playing the lottery and a, buying a $1 ticket in the lottery and expecting to get, you know, the Powerball jackpot. The other one is, you know, wearing a seatbelt in your car. Back on the front lines, Dr. Wilson's message is to get vaccinated. we got to move that number up. We're going to keep on talking about COVID. In Tampa, Haley Bull, ABC Action News.